They call the Hogs at the tip. It's an Arkansas team, four and four. Great penetration pitch. And Auburn ice cold to start this game. They're 0 for 4, and they've turned it over. This is an Auburn team that in SEC play is shooting less than 28% from the three, and to make it worse, in road games in league play, they're only at 24%. Amazing they're sitting here at 6-2. and two. Nice. Play. This guy's shooting less than 21% in league play from behind the arc. Hard jab to a step back. After getting that early layup in transition, you can tell Dowdy playing with a lot of confidence to start this game. Jones over the top of McC Jones over the top of McCormick. Teams can do that to Javon McCormick taking advantage. Turn it over. And Bailey fights for the board and will push it out. This is where Mason Jones is at his best. And Jones gets it to go. Great spacing. Look at Arkansas spacing. Five guys on the perimeter. They do not have a post presence, so they play to their strength. Look, there's no one in the post, which means for Auburn, you have to extend defensively, giving Mason Jones room to work. Let him back offensively. Let's see what Coach Musselman wants to draw up. Trying to get to the ball screen, but Auburn wouldn't let him. What do you mean wouldn't let him? How did uh, they keep they, him from doing it? They, they, it's called icing it or downing it, whatever your vernacular happens to be, where the guard guarding the ball. For Arkansas, came at the 6-16 mark. They missed their last eight. Jones got a Coro in the air, drew the foul. He almost hit it. Second on the freshman Isaac Okoro. That is a veteran take. Heady play by the upperclassmen. Mason Jones is sixth in the country in free. Where do you see Arkansas is missing Isaiah Joe tonight? Well, again, this is like a shoot it and shoot it deep. Every time he's in uniform for Arkansas, he is a second half, but they do need to count defensive rebounds. And they did a great job starting the game with turnovers leading to offense, run out of the box. You should text your phone, see your phone, and see how many texts you've gotten in the last three minutes. I think we're aging ourselves a bit. I, I'm not sure. Oh, good move there. <laughs> I'm not finished up. Maybe we'll get some more Twitter followers for yeah, you. Yeah. She's still alive. Well, you might be going viral, but you know, he probably already has. <laughs> oh, wow. Here's Jones. Mason Jones has spurtability. 30 point games each of the last two. And the home crowd happy to hear a whistle in their favor. Mason, and he does so because he understands how to play the game. Flanagan gambled on the steal. And now he's guarding Mason Jones. Another foul. How would you defend Mason Jones with Auburn's roster? Well, I think these Bruce is doing. He has been in quite a rhythm. We have not seen him this confident offensively in quite some time. When Auburn raced off to a 15-0 start this season, the penultimate undefeated team in college basketball, Bruce Pearl said, we're not as good as our record indicates. By Jamal Johnson, leads to a Daniel Purifoy three right in front of his back, right in front of his home bench. Jones from behind, Cheney for three. 22 points from Mason Jones. Other team changes, you take out your biggest guy and you put a guard in. Track me. Sills Great dumps pass. it. Jones finishes. 39% from the floor in SEC play. If you're Eric Musselman, do you dare? Here's Jones again. A bucket again. Adriel Bailey. Good scouting report right there. Not giving Purifoy much room. He is a catch and shoot four man. Good challenge on the three. And more importantly, Arkansas secures their defensive glass. Mason Jones fouled on the drive by Samir Doughty. There is a point in this at the free throw line. He's got 27 tonight. He has back-to-back 30-point -back games. The great scores in Arkansas history. Todd Doughty. He's doing what great players do, Tom. He is doing whatever it takes. Purefoy goes one of two. 
Time is your ally if you're Arkansas, but you do not want to have to play late in the clock without movement. Mason Jones able to draw the foul on his way in against Bama. And something that's never... Lee Mayberry, Todd Day, Joe Klein, Corliss Williamson. He's added a little life to his game offensively. 30-point night for Mason Jones. But Auburn on a 12-1 run. Jones turns the corner on Okoro, who got a piece of it and got whistled for the foul. Free throw attempts per game. Wired to score. Comes from a scoring family. Dropped a career-high 41 on Tulsa earlier this year. Two for two from the line. He's made a bucket. Can Mason Jones put him ahead? Picked up his dribble. He'll want it back. They switch Purifoy on him. And Purifoy gets a shove from Jones after the reach-in. Valuable hog at the free throw line. They still got an opportunity to get a possession. And we're tied at 69. Long shots lead to long rebounds. Javon McCormick went down hard. He's slow to get up. Bruce Pearls. Incredulous he didn't get the whistle. Mason Jones does get the whistle. It's on Dangel Purifoy and Jones. Continues to will his team to the finish line. 8 of 12 from the free. Party has six SEC teams in the tournament. Arkansas will be without their second leading tour, Isaac. Jimmy Wood Jr. on the inbounds. Here's Jalen Harris. Mason Jones, 34 tonight. On the freshman Okoro. Ball fake. Wow. Freed him up. What a move. He pivots to an open layup. Incredible offensive play. Bailey a... knocked it free. Cheney finds it. Arkansas down three. Jones gets tied up on his way in. And with 39 seconds left in the game, he'll... McLemore has been really big for them off that offensive glass. Jones. Um, the heavy load that he has been carrying... Dustin Jones can get downhill. He opts for the three. And it's ripped down by Flanagan. They get it right back. Jones and one. How does he do it? 16 big turnovers on the night. He knocks it in. Three-point.